Hello and welcome to the Senior G Screencast edition of Google Wonder Wheel, a cool new search tool I just learned about, the ISTE conference here in Denver in June. And this is just a neat way of displaying your Google searches as a graphic representation. So I'm interested one day in taking a trip to Thailand, so I'm going to do what everybody does and do a Google search for Thailand. As you can see here, we do a search, but the problem is we have a quarter of a billion results to sift through and I don't really feel like doing that and so what I'm going to do is go down here to search tools on the bottom left and then scroll down to wonder wheel when I do this you're going to see it preserves our original searches the top hits right here but it also now is breaking down our searches thematically and so if I'm interested in a time vacation I can click here and uh, I'm looking more for you know, I'm not looking for a package necessarily, a beach, honeymoon. So I'm going to go back here. And let's just do Thailand travel. Oh, a Thailand travel guide. That sounds helpful. Or even travel tips. As you can see, with each click, it's sifting me new top searches to give me what I want. So a guide and tips to Thailand. Um, ooh, packing tips. I need that because I'm classic overpacker. Always take way too many shoes. And now, you know, with very little effort, cool graphic representation here, I've got the Thailand packing list, 205 tips on the essentials that I'm going to need to know. And I think this has a lot of great applications in the classroom, especially if you're trying to introduce your students to the idea of graphic organizers or idea mapping. I think this is a really good tool to introduce it to them. And um, once they've seen you do it, heard you explain it, I think it's easy enough to sit them in the computer lab and have them do their own search where they can show that they've uh, understand it, demonstrate their understanding. Hope you find this helpful. I'll keep it brief. Ciao.